G'day. So we've got a VX Commodore here and uh, the driver actually thought he had a transmission problem because this funny noise that you can hear the noise would actually alternate um, as the transmission changed gears so initially I thought it was the power steering pump um, had gone dry but um, we actually found that the bottom idler bearing has gone um, the top one's noisy but that one's really noisy so what we're going to do is just change these idler bearings um, the bottom one is actually a smooth one because it goes on the back of that belt if you can see that and the top one's the ribbed one Yeah, it's quite a quick and easy um, fix so what I basically do is I pull the tensioner if you can see that a bit hard to see from the hose but as I pull that belt you'll see the tension tensioner go down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a block of wood here when I pull this down I'm going to wedge it with a block of wood just so it lo loosens the um, the belt so I can get those bearings out There we go. That's what I'm talking about So you can see that the belts gone all loose So now I can just undo these two bolts and swap those bearings over Now I'll just do the top one because it's probably a bit easier to see we just undo the bolt these are quite a lot a long bolt because uh, if it ever comes apart they don't want you to uh, the whole thing to drop off in the old days they used to be able to press these bearings out and just replace the bearing but in the throwaway society that we live in now you've got to buy the whole whole bloody thing so much for the pollution debate and there's a new one there we just put them side by side do a comparison and we even get a little a new washer in it so we're going to put that in as well. Just a matter of putting it back on and then we just slide it back in there. The head on that one's 16 mil, and the top one I think is 13 mil. Just wriggle it off if it'll let us. Okay. You can hear that one's really grumbly as well. Same as before, we do a little comparison, make sure they look the same or similar. And this one hasn't actually got a, a little washer that goes on there, which is unusual. So anyway, so we just put that one the same as we did the other one there we go
Tighten it up. Make sure the top one's tight. Okay, and we can take our wedge out. And there we have it. Just double check, make sure you've done both both up and you've taken the wedge out before you start it. Very important. Now we're going to just start it up and see how it goes. And look at that. No more noise. Thank you for watching.